and the rather leisurely uh, minister who replied to the debate literally quoted the precedents of the 17th century. 17th, not 18th, 17th, not 19th, 17th century. He talked about how there was precedent for bringing to the bar of the house. He mentioned two of them. The Duke of Buckingham's the only one that stayed in my mind, largely because he was called to the bar to answer for his lascivious lifestyle and behavior which had affronted the 17th century British Parliament. Must have been pretty lascivious, judging by the standards of the 17th century. He did mention that others had been summoned in the 18th century, including the Duke of Wellington, to answer questions from the members on the Peninsular War. I'm not making any of this up. This was the debate that took place not one hour ago in the House of Commons. And he did mention that the last person to be called to the bar of the House to answer questions was a Mr. Junor. I was, I think, alone of all the members present who recall Mr. Junor, John Junor of the Daily Express, famous for one of my favorite lines when confronted with Codswallop, he would turn to his uh, missing wife and say, pass the sick bag, Alice. And that is exactly how I felt at the end of the debate. 1957, 20, 24. And we have a missing aristocrat called David Cameron involved in Gaza, involved in the Red Sea, involved with the preparation for war being made by little Macron, about whom more later in a minute, involved in confronting China and the South China Sea, and none of us can question him as to the wisdom of any or all of these foreign wars in which Britain is up to a point embroiled.